All right, the next section for the DAT is the general chemistry section. And on my practice test for general chemistry, um, I was averaging anywhere from a 20 to a 23. And my actual test, I got a 22. So it was kind of right in that range of the scores I was getting. Um, <clears throat> I was fairly, I felt good about that score. I wasn't like thrilled about a 22 on that section, but um, I felt like I could have done better. And why do I say that? I say that because some of the questions I had on my actual that for general chemistry were literally like the bare bone basic questions of general chemistry. It wasn't like converting moles to grams or, by, or back and forth, vice versa, or whatever. Um, those I understand fairly well. Stoichiometry I understand very well. It was like setting up equations, setting up questions, um, not like conversion factors, but just like setting up um, like where you put a prefix, where does that go? Does that go in the, um, is that like an exponent or is that a whatever? Anyways, it was like the very basic questions that were throwing me off. And I think that's because some of the practice questions honestly go a little too in detail on uh, the general chemistry section. So if I were you, I would make sure you have a solid foundation with, when going into your DAT study or when conducting your DAT study for general chemistry. Make sure you understand the basics because more than likely you're gonna get questions that are just referencing some basic concepts that if you have a firm understanding of, you can get easily guarantee yourself, you know, at least 20 plus correct questions um, on the DAT. On mine, there were like five, I would say setting up questions that I kind of struggled with and the rest I felt very confident in. And I think those are the ones that may have um, went against me on my actual test. But overall advice for general chemistry is uh, start the Anki deck. Um, for that one, you don't have to start as soon. I felt like a lot of the material um, for the Anki deck was, how do I say it? Um, it's not as like intense as the biology because I mean, the general chemistry Anki deck only has like two or 300 cards. So um, what I would very much advise is when you're missing questions on the general chemistry um, sections of your practice stats, make flashcards of those questions so that you're reviewing them consistently. You're gonna get a lot of the same style of questions um, on practice tests that you get on the real DAT. There's only like so many questions they can ask for general chemistry. And so if you can, uh, if you can become familial, familiar with those, that style of question, you can guarantee yourself some, some um, good points on the general chemistry section. But besides that, um, general tips, review what you're missing, of course, uh, review fundamentals heavily, and um, take lots of chemistry practice tests. <laughs>